Hello, my name is Cuckoo 332. Today, we're going to talk about alternative medicine and why it sucks. Health is big business. Rather than trying to sell health tips, pills, diets, workouts, or actual practices, these companies rather make fake medicine to try and sell it to you. The term alternative medicine means any other medicine that has not been scientifically proven to work, and surely not that many people use these, right? Well, sadly not. The first um, alternative medicine I'm going to be talking about today is essential oils. Essential oils are often sold by MLMs, or multi-level marketing schemes, which is another type of pyramid scheme. The companies claim that they can quite literally cure anything, including cancer and most deadly viruses. Of course, all the anti-vaxxers ate this up immediately. To add insult to the injury, these companies have set up a cult-like atmosphere in their communities by indoctrinating their followers to distance themselves from anyone who doesn't use essential oils and they express hatred towards those who criticize them, believing that they know the whole truth and any opposition is wrong. They usually lure people in by claiming that NOW YOU CAN HAVE YOUR OWN BUSINESS BY SELLING OUR PRODUCTS. Of course you must buy them. And of course they're overpriced. And of course their recommended tip is to buy lots of product, to buy lots of their products. You have to spend money to make money, is what they have told their followers. And of course, no one buys the product, and you just lost hundreds of dollars, while the people at the top of the pyramid are making millions of dollars. They advertise that you can live a luxurious lifestyle just by selling their products, while their top sellers only make around $1,000 per year, which is only $83 per month, while a person working minimum wage, 9 to 5 jobs, makes that in a day. And most people make a negative profit, losing hundreds per month. And the people who realize the scam, quit selling products, are, and discourage people from voting MLMs, well, according to the MLMs, they just didn't try hard enough. Still pushing a narrative that you can make millions being a door-to-door -door salesperson. Despicable. Second one we are talking about today is chiropractory. I'm sure a lot of people are surprised this is here, but it's true. Chiropractory is not based in science, and the value of therapy is inconsistent. There are many different chiropractic therapies, and may or may not work, and some types don't work at all. As I said, it's inconsistent. Sometimes they work only for a short term, and will make it easier for your bones to slide around, causing the problem to reoccur. I would recommend physiotherapy instead of chiropractory, Although it takes longer and the problem is less likely is less likely to happen again, and chiropractors seem to want to deceive their customers to get a quick buck instead of helping them. They even tried to shut down criticism when the British Chiropractic Association tried to sue one of them for slander. Here are some other problems I have with the practice. Aggressive sale habits and lies. Chiropractors sell people a lot of treatments. Some that are completely unnecessary. In 2016, a study concluded that 80% of patients were sold unnecessary treatment, meaning that they were perfectly healthy, but the chiropractor convinced them that they needed the treatment, and people who were doing weekly treatments, 100% were unnecessary after week 30. They also advertised many unscientific claims like chiropractors can cure autism or why you should not vaccinate your children. Yeah, chiropractors are just as bad as essential oils, making ludicrous unscientific claims. It got so bad that British Columbia, Canada forced 100 chiropractors to remove the claims from their website, but they just put them back after a month. Bad signs from the start. The original idea behind chiropractory was that any health problem can be burned cured by spinal manipulation. That's right, you can cure cancer by manipulating your spine. Have the flu? Chiropractors can fix that. And this is still taught and believed by many chiropractors. There is no scientific backing behind any of, behind any of these claims. Zero. And for some reason, people still go to these clinics. And third is, they're not safe. 
Many chiropractors will adjust the neck to try and fix the problem. Well, I may remind you that the spinal cord is the only connection between your brain and the rest of your body. You're telling me you trust a person who has a practice a craft that based in pseudoscience to mess around with that connection? Is a headache worth dying for? I don't think so. And although claiming to fix headaches, chiropractor does not. It barely works for back pain. Back pain is regarded as the main treatment of chiropractors. While there is no science to back this up either, and many patients only receive a temporary fix, if it even fixes the problem at all. You see, what tends to happen is that adjusting the spine causes it to be weaker. It then becomes easier to shift into different positions, causing more back pain. I would recommend physiotherapy to fix your back problems. It is clear that there is no evidence to support back pain and can be fixed by chiropractors. Pediatric chiropractors harm children. Most chiropractors recommend repeated practicing on developing children. The most ironic thing is that there is a correlation between pediatric treatment on children and back pain. There is no benefit, and most time it can lead to harmful effects to, ch to the child. There is no reason to subject the child to the practice. Anti-vaxxers. Like essential oils, chiropractors seem to push an anti-vax message. Most chiropractors believe that vaccines are harmful and their practice is the only way to cure infections. It has gone so far that chiropractic regulators hold these beliefs. Those are the people who are should be telling the chiropractors not to hold it. Can you trust chiropractors who embrace the most anti-medicine beliefs and put everything I've talked about together as cure chiropractor is just as anti-science as rubbing oils on your skin? Now, not all chiropractors are like this. They have their different opinions and beliefs, and you can ask them about it. Like, do they believe neck therapy is ethical? Or, what is your opinion on vaccines? But it just seems more reasonable to avoid them unless you, your doctor or medical professional directs you to one, which in most cases is rare. The main problem is that they seem to have hate criticism, and most will try to shut it down instead of responding to it, mostly because they're a scam trying to squeeze the green dollars out of your pocket. And even worse, it is impossible for you to tell if a chiropractor does any of the listed practices. That is a major problem for consumers and again is more reasonable to avoid them and use physiotherapy. Chiropractic is the profession most obsessed with generally shabby idea that anatomical alignment is a key factor in chronic pain problem of all kinds, not just spinal pain. Adjusting the spine refers to many different manual therapies that wiggle, pop, and otherwise manipulate spinal joints, with the general goal of straightening patients or, s or restoring normal motion. There is a th this therapy is called SMT or spinal manipulative therapy. Little science has actually been done to prove that this is effective, but it does not have much negatives as the therapy is already listed, although I would not recommend using any of them. In conclusion, chiropractors are a mixed bunch that have a practice based in pseudoscience and may cause more harm to help their patients just to get the extra buck. Just go see a physiotherapist instead. Acupuncture. Acupuncture is supposed to be able to help with pain. Yes, sticking sharp things into your back gets rid of pain. Of course, it's complete bullshit. But if you want to waste your money to get some old lady to stick needles in your back, I mean, that's what turns you on. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Like, have a little fun at the acupuncture club. What the fuck am I saying? Um, the main thing is that pro acupuncture guys keep trying to tell you that it works, despite the overwhelming evidence that support on the contrary. Probably because they make $500,000 a year sticking stuff in people's backs. Many, even many expert acupuncture proponents have admitted that it doesn't work, but they cleverly and weirdly spin this as good news. Apparently, it's a good thing that sham acupuncture and real acupuncture have, have about the same effectiveness. What? The funny thing is that most evidence against acupuncture was compiled by a pro-acupuncture community to prove it does work. Basically, they interpret the evidence in a nonsensical way to try and convince people to come down to the clinic so we can inject needles in your back. They also use a health magazine bogus, bogus articles as support for their cause. They really are that desperate. It's just so ridiculous. <sighs> Don't use alternative medicine, go to your doctor who is a trained professional and get the 
freaking vaccinated. You literally can get tetanus from cutting yourself on some playground equipment. The people who believe this shit are hard to understand. Usually people turn to alternative medicine as a last resort, then somehow they get better, usually not because of the alternative medicine, and maybe it's only a short term healing as explained earlier in the chiropractic section. Anyways, they then trust alternative medicine after they have that experience and can then eat up all their propaganda about vaccines. It's quite a sad world where teenagers must sneak out of their parents' houses to get vaccinated. So please, get educated and trust your doctor. Thank you.